Hello, my name is Adrian Whitfield from IBM Rational Software and joining me is Dr. Graham Blickley. Welcome to the Rational Rhapsody UPDM product demonstration. Now, UPDM stands for a Unified Profile for DODAF and MODAF. And the aim, of course, with UPDM is to create an industry standard approach for military frameworks. This demonstration gives an overview of the UPDM and how you can use Rational Rhapsody to create the various UPDM views. The demonstration is split into two parts, where in this first part, we're going to cover the AV, or the all views, the strategic views, the operational and service orientated views. In the second part of the demonstration, we're going to be covering some of the other UPDM views, such as the system view. So let's get started with the demonstration. We're going to begin by looking at the AV, or all views. Remember, the tool that you are seeing is Rational Rhapsody, where all the UPDM artifacts are held within the tool. So it's time now to hand over to Graham. Now, the starting point is going to be our AV1 basic, or the AV1 diagram, which in this instance is, is captured by a Microsoft Word document which is brought in as a controlled file into the model. It's also possible to actually add this model, uh, or sorry, these, this information directly into the architecture using the uh, tags that exist on the, the actual architectural description. Okay. I'm going to go through the AB2. Um, our starting point for this story really is our SDV1 and this model is based around a vehicle recovery model the idea being that um, we have this vision to retrieve personal uh, personnel and rescue resources in various environments such as uh, light desert um, or under fire okay This is uh, the STV1, which allows us to see this. We can zoom. This is a new feature of 7.5. It allows us to zoom in and out of the model itself. Okay. Um, the STV2 covers uh, the capability taxonomy. And in this instance, we're looking at land and sea recovery. Um, as the, the highest level, our enduring task. And then based upon this, we're going down the vehicle recovery route and principally the light armoured recovery and light armour recovery under fire and in the desert. And to do that, uh, both of these light armour recoveries uh, in, under fire and in the desert, desert require secure, secure communications. And we're going to see this coming up later on because this is going to be the basis for the, uh, the services that we're going to require for encryption and decryption. So underneath our, our OVs, uh, in this instance what we have here is a, a structured OV1 uh, where we have elements uh, from the model um, with images associated with them to show uh, typically what, might, what you might see. Um, so okay, this might not be a, a desert, but uh, it does give you an idea that there's uh, some rugged terrain involved and it tells you the main elements that relate to to the operations that you're going to be carrying out. It's also possible that we could bring in a, just a graphic, again, as a controlled file um, of this particular uh, operational scenario or any operational scenario. The next stage is to go through our, um, our operational activities. Um, so we've got an OV5 here. And we've got a very simple model here where we're just looking at receiving order for the aid, analyzing the requirements, and then issuing your recovery in order, receiving the task in order, and performing recovery. Uh, typically, we would do this first before we started to link in uh, the various nodes, which are repair, recovery, control, and the recovery node. These are reflected and actually linked directly to elements within the armor recovery. So if we go into the features, general, you can see it actually represents an element within the model. So our R2OV2, we've got our armor recovery, 
and the model in this instance what we've got there is our operational nodes or nodes command and stranded vehicle so the stranded vehicle sends a request for aid to the command uh, sends the, the order for aid to the repair and recovery control which uh, sends out the task in order to the recovery and, and this is really the part that we're interested in this is the logical architecture that we're interested in and we've also got a, a mapping based upon our um, our OV5 which allows us to see uh, which of the operational activities uh, or which sorry which of the nodes actually perform the operational activity um, to carry this out we obviously need some sort of org chart so we do typical OV4s um, in this instance we've got our, our light armor detachment consists of a uh, recovery team and a commander um, and the recovery team consists of a driver, came or crane operator and uh, another type of commander uh, the, the lad commander commands the comms officer, he also commands the commander in terms of the recovery team and also as part of our OV4 we can put on here uh, competencies so to be a comms officer you need some form of a communications degree be a driver you need some form of a military HGV license.